Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue with the next question, guys. So this question belongs to Gate C, CSE 2006, question number 52. Okay, so let us start. So the small correction in question is, so this is a not M N, guys. So it is a M combination N. So this is a com. In the permutation and combination, we will be learning it, right? So the formula for it is nothing but M factorial by N factorial into M minus N whole factorial, right? I hope everyone remembers it, right? So that's a really simple formula, if you ask me, right? Yes. Okay. So to solve this particular code, you need to have that idea on the formula, guys. So what here they are saying is the following function computes the value of M C N correctly for all legal values. M should be greater than one. Greater than or equal to one, n should be greater than or equal to one, and m should be greater than n. Okay, so with these conditions, if they are satisfying, so this is the code to find the combination combinatrix, guys. Okay, yes. So here they did not fill the complete code, so they gave a question mark. So yet he, what will be the code? So that is the question. Got it? You got the idea, right? So that's really important, guys. Getting idea on the question like what they are exactly asking is important. Okay, yes. So let us start. So now you got the idea about the formula. So let us take the first example. So what is the minimum value of M, guys? So the minimum value of M is nothing but one. And what is the minimum value of N? That is a zero. Okay. So what is the value for this with this formula? So that is nothing but one factorial by zero factorial into one minus a zero factorial. That is nothing but simply one, right? Yes. So if you substitute, if you call a func a func with one comma zero, the result should be one. So which condition will satisfy it? So let us check. So let us take the first condition. Okay. So if n double equal to zero or m double equal to one, return one. Okay. So here, what is the situation, guys? So once it goes inside, it will check. Is n so this is m this is n is n double equal to zero yes so it will return one okay so for now it is okay it is correct okay okay so in every case we are having n equal to zero hence our example which we took isn't a good example guys got it yes so you should understand in that way so are you taking a correct example or not also is really important okay so let us take one some other example so let us take m is equals to two And n is equals to one. So what is the answer for it, guys? So it is nothing but two factorial by one factorial into one factorial. That is nothing but two, right? The result is yes. So let us try for these values. So fun of two comma one. Okay. So this value is m and this value is n. Okay. So let us start. So let us take the first condition. So here m is equals to two. Okay. And n is equals to one. Okay. So here, what will be the case, guys? So it will not go inside the if condition because m is not equal to one and n is not equal to zero. So it will come to else. So what is the operation yet else? That is nothing but a function of m minus one, comma n. Okay. So m minus one is nothing but a fun of one, comma one. It will call. Similarly, here on on the other side, it will call two com. Sorry, one comma zero. Right, so we should add the result, okay? And what this will result in? So this function will call again this, and here the condition will be zero, right? So it will print one, right? Yes. Similarly, fun of one comma one. So what will one comma one do? So one comma one means here also m equal to one, okay? Hence it will also return one. So this is giving you a result two, okay? So this is also satisfying this equation, okay? That's really great, right? So both are satisfying. Okay, if you observe option two, everything is the same, but the symbol is different. Here we are having a two and so here we are having a two ors, right? Yes. So basically, and means both of them should be true to go inside. Okay. So let us check here. So here are both the conditions satisfied, guys. So this is M and this is N. Yes, they are satisfied. What about here N, M and N? Yeah, no, they are not satisfied. Hence, here you will not get one, guys. So again, this function will divide into two parts. That is nothing but if you take second case, guys. Okay. So fun of zero comma one. Okay. Plus fun of okay. Moving on zero comma zero. Okay. So basically, this case is not allowed, right? Hence, this option is completely wrong, guys, because you can never go to zero. And here you cannot have one, guys. So remember that. That's our criteria, right? If you recall, m should always be greater than one. Got it? Yes. So that is the reason why this option is gone. 
okay yes so let us uh, continuously check the next option with this only okay so if you n of 2 comma 1 okay so fun of 2 comma 1 okay so let us continue so uh, let us take this condition okay so here you will be getting two results that is uh, nothing but fun of 1 comma 1 and fun of uh, 1 comma 0 okay so if we check this here again we are having or operation okay so here it this satisfies this condition so it will return one okay this follows this condition m equal to n so this will also result in two okay so hence this is also in the race whereas here both are and operation okay okay so here if both are and operation if here we need to get one means what should be the result guys so this condition will be false right so this is m and this is n right so here n is equals to one means this option is wrong so basically from that only you can say that option is also wrong so any one can be true that's it so here again two are being true so hence that is false so now we are left out with these two conditions okay yes so now let us try for some case which will not satisfy these two conditions okay so we need let us think of some card example or sauce easy example so let us uh, try guys so let us uh, take three and two guys okay so just an example i'm not sure whether it will work or not okay yes okay so three comma two okay so if you take a three comma two what will be the thing guys it on one side it will become okay so if you take first case let us take okay so if you take first case zero and one it should become okay i remembered it so two comma two will be on this side and uh, 2 comma 1 will be on this side okay so again this will continue okay so if this will continue what will be the result guys okay so if this will continue the result will be 1 comma 2 and on the other side it will be 1 comma 1 okay okay so if this continues again because okay so m is equal right yes so now it will return 1 okay here also m equal to 1 it will return 1 okay so m n right yes so m and this is not yet done so again it will uh, divide into two okay so it will become one comma zero okay sorry it will become one comma one and this side it will become one comma zero okay so both of them will return one but if you recall what is the value of 3c2 guys it should be three factorial by two factorial into one factorial that is nothing but three but here we are getting four hence this option is also wrong so by this you can say that the option c is correct you can cross check it guys okay yes so if you observe carefully at here only you will stop oh, sorry at here only you will stop because m equal to n due to this condition okay and here you will get one here you will get one so in total you will get one two and three this division will not be done if m e double equal to n guys okay yes so hence c is the correct answer so i hope everyone got a clear idea right you got the idea right so you need to do some trial and error guys okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you